This year, me and my girlfriend Laura decided to escape the cold in Germany and start an adventure in Florida. We went on a road trip in paradise, however, not everything went as planned. This is our story in Florida. started in Atlanta. After a few days in the middle of Georgia, we decided to pick up a car and drove all the way down to Orlando, Florida, where we got hosted by some really good friends of mine. There was a little cave on our way that we wanted to explore. Next on our list were the Universal Studios. My good buddy Tim got us in and we explored the parks for a long time. Needless to say that Harry Potter was the number one thing to check out. The day we decided to go farther south was the day the real adventure started. We drove east to the Kennedy Space Center at Cape Canaveral, but then went to the beach instead because $100 for a space museum was a little too much for our interest. The beaches were fun and afterwards Laura decided to hide a phone somewhere so we couldn't find it. It only took us an hour until we got the phone back and got back on the road. We spent the night in the car and a hotel parking area. Next morning, we woke up at 5 and put up a hammock at the beach. We saw an amazing sunrise. We had a good and early start to the day. Next stop was Miami Beach. We parked the car at a little side road and paid $5 for the parking. After checking out the beach, we came back to our car just as it got towed away. Apparently there was a sign saying loading zone, but that was all covered up by a construction site on the side of the building. After a couple of hours at the police department, Negotiating about the situation, we had to pay approximately $300 to get our car back. We left Miami and drove to Key Largo. Because of the forest fire, we got stuck in traffic for 3 hours and when we finally made it to the first key, they closed the roads. We didn't have any place to stay and everything was super expensive. And seriously, we didn't want to spend another night in the car. Out of nowhere, a super friendly Canadian guy called Terry offered us to stay at his place and we met the nicest friends we could have hoped for. All of a sudden the Keys became a great experience. After a day in Key Largo, we went all the way down to Key West where yet again we didn't have a place to stay. Things got worse when Laura got really sick all of a sudden it must have been food poisoning or something from the burrito we had. In the middle of the night I decided to drive us back to Terry hoping he would be around. We got back to Key Largo an hour before midnight and fortunately Terry and his friends were still here. Laura felt better and Terry decided to take all of us partying on a little boat until like 2am. We listened to German and American country music. That night was seriously amazing. The next day we got kicked out of the campsite because there were too many people on our side. Terry called a friend of him outside of the Keys, close to Fort Myers. Um, I seriously can't describe how thankful I am for everything that happened to us. The next few days, on our way up north, we checked out the Everglades National Park. We checked out Pine Island with Terry's friends. 
we saw some Georgia state parks. We also checked out Anna Maria Island, which was awesome. And finally on our way back, yet again we stopped in Orlando before heading back to Atlanta. This was the first of many adventures with Laura. I'm thankful for everything and yes, even for the fact that our car got towed away. Otherwise, none of those things would have ever happened. This was our story in Florida. Hey Germany, it's Spider-Man. I just want to say hey to everybody over there. Anybody gets a chance, come over and see me guys. See you later. <laughs>